conference this size, there are many, many more questions. And we have a range of those that have come through from the conference for the last few days. So um, with your agreement, we'll send these through to your office um, and people will be eager to hear the response of the Minister. Um, it is heartening to hear you talk today and it's the first opportunity I've had and many members here will have had to hear the Minister speak. Um, and I, I just want to reiterate some of the points both that you've made and, and where there are some, there's some common ground um, and that is, you know, over this year you have repeatedly spoken of the place of tertiary education, the crucial place, in making sure this country grows faster and in the long term makes New Zealand a better place to live, to work and of course um, to, um, to do business. And certainly you um, have reiterated this today and as part of this you've spoken of a number of things that, that we can agree with you on that we do want more young people with degrees of vocational training. We want fewer young people falling through the cracks. We want second chance learners given a chance to improve their skills. And of course we too, both as taxpayers and people who work in the tertiary sector, are keen to see greater transparency and accountability for public money. So the vision is a worthy vision. But as you will have heard from the questions and as you will know from our sector already in the conversations that we've had, perhaps um, the, the vision you have, we don't feel the actions are now matching some of that vision. Yeah. Success for students and no one falling through the cracks is a very important vision. We want our students and we work hard to make sure our students achieve. But this is being undermined by the cutting of bridging courses and the cutting of monies to our sector and of course yeah, it yeah. will be undermined by the voluntary student yeah. membership bill yeah. should this yeah. go yeah. ahead. Yeah, yeah. Access to second yeah. time yeah. Many of us have asked students, I'm sure there are many second chance learners, I was one, and we know the value of this particularly in a recession. We want this commitment to continue but we are concerned our institutions are actually using capping to deny entry to second chance learners and that is a consequence, a real consequence we are seeing. Um, and also when ITPs and universities are struggling with funding, they're concentrating on the easier targets. In terms of transparency and accountability of public funds, as I say, we're concerned both as taxpayers and those in the institutions. But we have repeatedly and will today reiterate our concern that changes brought in by your government to our governing bodies have made them less democratic and less answerable to the people, less answerable to the citizens of New Zealand and those working in the institution. And of course that's the changes in the ITP um, councils and, and the running of those bodies. And also when it comes to public accountability and public funds <coughs> and improved productivity, no one in this room is opposed to productivity, but it is very hard for a sector to continue to be productive when all we see is continual reviews, continual restructuring, which is imposed upon our sector and it has made it hard for our staff to be productive in anything other than reviews. Yeah, yeah. We are committed teachers, we are committed administrators, we are committed technicians, we are committed to students to good quality research and teaching and we want to work with you on that vision. And we challenge you to extend your vision. We challenge you to extend it not to our role as tertiary sector in building a strong economy, but our role in building a strong citizenry and a community a strong community because to us that is a very important thing and well educated people as is evidenced by this room are strong citizens, they are strong community members, strong iwi members and we are committed to that vision as well and we are committed to making sure that we are part of the solution to making New Zealand grow in all ways economically and socially. So we thank you very much for your time and we look forward to regular conversations where we hope we can convince you the vision can be wider and convince you that we are working to make New Zealand a stronger and better place. Here, here. Here, here.